Pero this is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate MIDI tutorial with Unreal Engine. We need to learn MIDI first. So we're going to dive deep on this tutorial and MIDI. So here we go. And this is a sample project. Uh, you can have this for free, I think, on the Google Drive. I'm not sure yet. I didn't upload yet. Uh, this is going to be, like I said before, our Swiss army knife. What plan is uh, first learn MIDI, how the MIDI protocol works. We're going to work on every part of the MIDI library so we understand what each part of the library, what it's doing. And then I'm going to make a small review on, on, on MIDI devices because not all the MIDI devices are the same. I love the IPC40. This, oh, oh my God, we're going to talk about this. This knobs you'll see the difference but let's start with this okay again before we start doing uh things like this uh, let me um, okay doing focus we do focus with the soft focus like uh, changing uh, fob to rotate the camera um what else we can do pan tilt this is doing yaw okay this is a pitch okay when, when we're going up and down we go up and down back and forward left and right okay okay so that's a pitch so yes that's that's idea you have full control uh with midi which is very helpful I know that we have new tools in Unreal Engine and we are going to uh, touch a little bit on that. I love the new tutorials. Um, now there is things that you can't do with, um, with the new remote control system that Unreal has. Probably this is good feedback for Unreal Engine. But yeah, there's a lot of things that you have to do in, on Blueprint, right? Especially if you want to transfer all this information to an external device there's no workaround you you actually have to make a blueprint there's a lot of things that we have to do inside to actually take all this information and send it to like a camera remote control whatever we we're going to choose so i want you to master this you need to master midi midi is very simple okay midi is it's a seven bit protocol it's like it's 8-bit but in reality it's not they're lying to you someone told you this 8-bit is not the only purpose of the 8-bit is to tell the mini protocol hey this is a new message that's the only purpose so that's why we have from 0 to 127 which is 128 we don't have 256 values that 8-bit has so basically you're sharing half of the byte between system messages and the other half into actual values that you can transpose. At any time, at any moment, you can send more than 127. So when the bit is set as a system message, it's going to tell you what kind of message it is. It could be a node, it could be a, a, a knob, it could be whatever, right? And the other part is going to tell you what channel and what program. And if it's another thing, the reserve values for each manufacturer and that's a uh, different shampoo bamboo so at the end of the day it's an a bit but it's not that's what it is no more than seven bits of information uh, can be transferred i know it's complicated they made it complicated but anyway that's seven bits it doesn't give you too much precision you this this shamps here that's 127 and really it is not i'm i'm replicating the 127 here and you might think, okay, well, we're well, screwed. Like, uh, MIDI is not that precise, it's not, which is not true because in reality, you have this solar function, MIDI. See how smooth this? You see this? And by the way, I keep rotating. This is like an infinite rotation. That's a trick that you're gonna learn how to use MIDI to the full extent and that's why we're going to build this blueprints with all the functionalities on, on MIDI. so we're going to go through the whole midi library uh stop playing but i love this look at this Ooh, look at the focus 
yeah oh and by the way so this hey if someone knows how to fix this sh um you see how the flickering look at this so i, I don't have collision I, I i i set up all the collisions but there is no collision anyway and once we control that focus we can control we can send that information that's why we need blueprints like uh, remote control on on, on the, the new remote control and relations is pretty cool but you can't do all these things so once we use this blueprint we we can start doing focus assistant and by the way this is i think a 65 dollars you need to use the whole system on, on season so we're gonna hack this you see this um I mean, hack. Yeah, well, actually, it is a hack. This is a USB C. You can send the information through the USB C. You don't have to use any any decision. Or, or if we actually, we can do the same thing with uh, DJI, and that's cool. I think it's cool that you can do it through Unreal Engine. Okay, this is the official chart from the Media Association. Uh, you can find it on media.org. We're gonna go through how MIDI works uh, on the protocol and how we are going to grab that information inside. Real Engine. So already did this on very raw Photoshop. Okay, so this is how Unreal Engine interpret MIDI. So these are the the correspondent uh, bind event to any official MIDI event. And we're also going to decode how this works on MIDI. The only purpose of the eight bit for MIDI is to tell the system that the, a new message is going to come. And it's going to be this bit right here. The one in the front. Most of the time, what you have is the kind of event plus uh, the channel information and the program information. So that is going to be encoded on the second part. This is what it says, and 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 that part is going to be encoded uh, the rest of the information. So let's go one by one, so we know what we are talking about. So the calculator is going to be. We're going to use the programmer part. And okay, here we go. Seven bits. Seven is 127, maximum value, uh, which is from zero to 127. There is no MIDI message that can go more in one byte more than 127, from zero to 127. Uh, there are different ways for MIDI to do that. And, and one case is to send uh, two bytes, that would be 14 bits. 16,383. That's the maximum in theory, but there are many ways for uh, MIDI to send more information. We're gonna go through through that later. In general, it's from zero to one twenty-seven. You can send more bytes through system exclusive messages, but if you go beyond one twenty-seven, it's gonna trigger another message. So no matter what, from eighty up, there are gonna be uh, system messages. So let's go to the table. So I have this program. The program Pocket MIDI. Okay, so this is the website where you can download Pocket MIDI. It's uh, it's a free software. You can uh, debug MIDI. You can actually send MIDI information. So if you if you don't have any devices, perfect for this. And I'm going to debug this uh, MIDI information from here. So let's go to this example, right? I'm pressing the key. It's uh, F sharp note 36, which is the 54 in decimal and this is the velocity you see how i go smooth and go that's the maximum 127 and go up and down okay so that's the three information that you, you're sending you're sending what it is 90 is a note on with channel one on port one 36 is the number of the note and then 48 this change all the time is going to be the velocity Okay, so let's decode the 90. 90, if we go to the calculator, we plug 90. And this is uh, the binary data is 1001. Okay, 1001. And the rest is 0 and 0, which is the channel and, and the port. So 1001 is 1001, right? Note event. So this is what in a real nation you're going to use to get this note, right? Is one of the most used and then we go through the other one okay, so that's uh the 90 part right now when i let go the the key boom 80 and what is 80 let's go here 80 
Let's go here is one zero zero zero, right? One zero zero zero. It's node off event. So let's go really fast. I'm not going to do the same. I'm just going to show you here what uh, each one is going to do here. This is a normal control change. Okay, a normal control change goes goes from zero to one twenty seven, right? And as you can see, it's a B zero zero one zero one one. B0, right? Sliders, for example, they act the same way. This is what you use, control change. So this is the called polyphonic key pressure. A9 is 1010. 1010. It is the polyphonic. Polyphonic node. You can see when I press it register all the different changes on, on pressure, right? I think this is really cool. And once you let go, you have an 89, which is the same note off. It says 89 because uh, now you are on, on port 1, but on channel 10. It's the same as this one, 80. But because you're, you're on, on port uh, 10, it says 8 on the night. Now let's go to pitch pen. The only one without making too many tricks that you can send more information than eight uh seven bits the way it does it is send two bytes so you have sixteen thousand and plus values so, so as you can see right plus eight thousand minus x this device in, in particular it's actually can like makes no sense because it's uh it's still uh seven bits it doesn't give you the full range it it tells you over here that uh it's doing eight thousand but if if you actually notice Every step is 0, 128, 256. It's not going in between those values. Maybe because people didn't notice the difference or whatever the reason is that they're not using it. But anyway, the, the protocol allows you to send all this information. Then you have a system uh, CSEX, uh, which is a system exclusive uh, messages. As you can see, it never exceeds 127 values. So uh, start with F0 and, and finish with F7. So those are the two reserve flags to start and finish the message. But at any moment, you see there's a maximum of uh, 7F. Nothing goes beyond 7F. The system exclusive messages is pretty much what saved MIDI over the years because this is where manufacturers were able to do custom stuff without having to be tied to, to those seven bits. And at the end of the day, there are different ways to send more than seven bits. Okay, so so far this is what Unreal Engine give you with this uh, MIDI plugin. And let's go to Unreal Engine and show you how to actually grab all that information. Okay, this is our beloved example connected now, and I'm receiving here, right? So I have all the MIDI functions that uh, I already show you, and this is not going to show here because I already sent the bug here, and this is the event for note on so note on and control change is is working okay so i just want you to see that if i i have a pitch band it's supposed to show up here so basically you have you create a midi device input controller and by the way should i say this at the beginning this is not a tutorial right now on how to make this blueprint and i promise to you I'm going to make a full tutorial on how to make this uh, full, full, full blueprint. I just want to go fast and show you the basic first. So this is actually part one, okay? And this is one probably if someone of Epic Game is listening, don't kill this library. I know that you have a, a really cool remote control system, but uh, we can't do blueprints like this without this library. I can work with this because I can use the MIDI device controller. And I'm gonna show you what, what I mean with this. So I can break here and plug really fast. And let me show you what's going on here. Is that device too? Let me go really fast just to make sure I'm doing it right. Yeah, okay, so never mind. So uh, we do the same thing, right? We create the device controller. The difference with the input, you don't have all these uh, events. This is uh, part of, um, device input so uh midi note on control change uh pitch bend blah 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 they are decoding for you everything that we saw right here they are decoding this 
So this is part of the MIDI input library. This one, it's bare bones. It's basically, I'm grabbing all the information, basically what you saw, boom, right here. Okay, they're grabbing all the information. Actually, they grab it like this. So you see the difference. This is it. This is the information they grab. This is pure stream of uh, MIDI. This is how you see it, actually. Okay, so they're grabbing this information. And there is no decoding, basically. And I'm just printing all this information, raw information that we had, the uh, MIDI device controller, timestamp, I'm not gonna print it, event type. Technically, it's telling you, it's uh, dividing all these uh, events, at least. Uh, decoding the channel ID, uh, sometimes it's not that information and the control ID sometimes is not that information. Um, velocity, in so, again, sometimes doesn't mean it's velocity. And this is really cool. It, it shows you the raw event, uh, pitch bend. Okay, so you can see here, note on, note off. I have the, the expression button, the, the polyphonic uh, pitch bend, and even the system exclusive messages. So you can grab pretty much everything with this uh, function. Or this event now it's going to take you at least you know how to do it so if uh, if you're stuck on midi use this because this is going to be only way to actually get the full midi uh, functionalities but again to be honest uh, most of the things that i actually need they're here so yes we are going to work on this example tutorial i'm going to go from beginning to the end and make a good tutorial it might be like a three hour tutorial to be honest i don't know but uh most of the time it's actually uh, technically the same function repeated again and again and there's only a couple of things where for example on cameras you have to change the function because it's, it's a different thing but this movement is always the same uh function um this is why you change going back to the midi part the reason this is an ultimate 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 tutorial raw midi which is going to be this okay this is raw midi because at the end of the day what i'm doing right here with motion control is going to be everything's going to be custom okay so i i'm, I'm going to use more this than actually this other one now these are really nice I love it, but I'm going to use this. It's more work, but um, it's, I, at the end of the day, it's more clear for me. Now, this is part one. Again, uh, I just wanted to go through uh, what is MIDI, uh, how the protocol works. I want to give you some examples here on Unreal Engine, how uh, Unreal Engine manage and handles MIDI, and what are my actual solutions for getting custom messages which by the way i didn't have to use it on this example but i have to use it later in different examples the only thing left for this tutorial yes is one thing i want to talk about um, midi controllers okay and remember i said about i think in my personal opinion midi controller with infinite knobs should be the only one in your mind which is not limited options there there are a lot of these mini controller under 100 dollars uh, they have uh, infinite knobs i can think of a couple of um, mini controllers that don't have uh, infinite knobs they, they, they actually go from 0 to 1 to 7 but all these uh, at least the arturias one has a uh, infinite knob this is 100 uh, the keyboard is also 100 i love the keyboard but i, I love this uh, compact one because it's, it's so easy on on my desk the pads which is very useful and it doesn't have this but at the end of the day i wouldn't use this because this is very dangerous the way that it jumps like you can accidentally touch these uh controllers it doesn't have like a piano keys but uh i think this is perfect so i i love this one i mean for 100 i go with this one then you have obviously let me go the apc40 which is favorite on 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 for many reasons okay so there is one thing that i love more about uh akai and it's these knobs i have to show you on the um, on the debugger now let me show you really fast this is how many steps this one has two 
to see it's 44. Let's say it's 44. That's for this. Now let me show you this. I'm not going to be able to do a full revolution. No, let me, so let me set up for zero and very rough, very rough. I'm going to around there. 86, 72, 172 in one revolution. 172 in one revolution versus what? 44. So that's the difference between Akai devices and uh, Arturia. At the end of the day, it, it's, it's not a big deal. I'd rather have a, a compact like this than, don't get me wrong, this is perfect for for stage but for for your desk i rather have like a small one but want to make it clear not all the media devices are made the same so yeah this is using uh, high resolution uh digital encoders their compact devices the 128 are alternative for virtual production i was working with this uh knobs it was amazing uh, working on that kind of control. It's just smoother. Okay, so this is end of part one. Part two, we can start looking at those blueprints on that sample project. But from here, everything is going to be custom solutions. And that's why I wanted to show you how the MIDI protocol works and how you can actually hack the MIDI protocol and I, I at least understand, you know, what those messages are so you can use them in different ways. We are going to use it in different ways. This is not going to be like a, a music MIDI tutorial. This is going to be more like a, a protocol way to send messages from one device to the other one. Okay, so this is the end of part one. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm okay with any, any kind of uh, feedback. Try to be nice if it's a negative feedback, but try to be nice. That's it. And other than that, thank you for subscribing. I think the free NFTs, uh, they're already up. That's one thing I, I want to talk about the NFT. Okay, before we go, you know, everybody right now is crazy with NFTs. I'm doing this more like an experiment because there are many ways that, like me, many different ways that you can use uh, some things. In the case of NFTs, the way I envision this new way to use NFTs, you can use it as a digital ticket in the future for events, for example, um, for uh, online events. Uh, you can encode a lot of things on the NFT. So it's the perfect platform to sell event tickets with digital information basically and that's some of the projects direction they're going right now they're trying to embed and actually encrypt information inside the nfts and that's the main reason why i'm doing these nfts and that's why i want you to uh, give you these nfts for free so yeah you go through the process of how to get the nft because there is there is a learning curve probably that's another uh, tutorial that i have to do how to actually get the nfts like i said it's, it's not it's not pr it's, this is more industry based i want everybody to experiment with these nfts and make different uh, versions of nfts that can be utility nft utility utility in a way that you can actually do something useful with the nft or in that um, collecting art and, and whatnot they're still their nfts i mean they go 10 ethereum i mean go for it i mean hopefully who knows you know i get the 10 percent, by the way so I, I already put it in the contract so if you sell it for 10 uh, for 10 ethereum i get one ethereum so i don't care i think nfts they're going to be huge in our industry so we need to learn that right now i really 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 need to learn nfts that's why i'm putting it here on the channel so get the free nfts again they're free or you can support the channel i put a link over it's on the description where you can buy it for five bucks basically you can buy up to 20 nfts i mean if you want to do that do it like you know it's good for me but you can get one for free okay so you got the chance to get one for free so you can play with um, all the things we're going to do with nfts all in that that's what it is okay i think this is the time for experimenting with nfts that's why i'm doing it. okay uh i hope you learned something 
with these tutorials. Again, the the second part of this tutorial is going to be we're going to go through um, the whole uh, Unreal Engine project. We're going to build it from scratch. Thank you for watching. If you get it to this point, and see you next time.